Yo guys, what is up? What's going on? Today we're gonna make a quick video to go through with you on how to actually program and set up the custom steering wheel controls in coordination with the Android head unit. The unit is simply plug and play, but you do have to go back into the settings and reprogram and reset what you want the different buttons to actually do. So we're gonna get started and do that right now and we're gonna show you how it's done. So to get started, we're gonna look for this app called Wheel Key and that's an app or an interface used to help program the steering wheel controls. So let's just open that up right now. So it says press the steering wheel buttons. We're gonna look at the steering wheel and we're gonna start programming some buttons. So let's first let's hit the volume up, push the volume up. It says, okay, a short click, what would you like to do? I'm gonna make the volume go up. I'm gonna press okay. And that was just for a short click. Now I'm gonna press the volume down. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Volume down. Okay, now we have mode. We're gonna select through different modes. Okay, now the answer button, there's the answer. The hang up button, put the call down. And now I um, saw another guy do, oh, now I saw another guy do this, but he held the mode button. Wait, press mode again. And he did a long hold as the, like the home button for oh, his home nice. feet. Let's save all the commands, Let's make sure they work. I don't. The definitions are definitely not saved. Okay, I want to save them. Did it work? Just yeah. Press the volume up, and the head unit should go up. Volume down. Volume goes down. Let's go mode. Radio. So, got all the controls kind of working now. Everything seems to work. I press the mode button. Goes through all the different modes. as it should. Then I have a lawn hold on the mode button. Goes back to the home screen, nice. everything works. Just tried the Bluetooth, answering and hang up calls and everything works. So I don't need any additional adapters or anything. This unit has this app programmed right in that you can program the buttons however you want. And yeah, it just seamlessly works. It's very intuitive, very easy. And yeah, this makes it for really easy kind of plug and play install. Nice, so that's how easy it is to set up the controls. It took like less than five minutes to do and it's pretty cool anytime you want, you could change them to do different things if you wanted. There's quite a few different like preset options. Um, probably quite a few of them you wouldn't even need to use, but it's nice, it gives you so many different options to customize the buttons too. Um, they do make this head unit for all different makes and models of cars. So of course some cars might have more controls on the steering wheels. And then in that case, you'd have that option to program it however you would want it to work, just like it would be from the factory. All right, so we're gonna wrap this video up here now. Quick and simple, guys. If you have any questions about the Android head unit, feel free to drop a comment down below, of course. If you wanna check out Steven's car, I'll have a link in the description as well to his Instagram. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever it is where you are.